And I have been fully like fascinated with um, the 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 you know the blowups because it just shows the instability of an unregulated asset class because it's unregulated. FTX is not an exchange; <laughs> it's, it's a means of exchange, but it's not a regulated exchange, etc. So anyway, it's not really a currency. <laughs> it's not really a commodity. FTX isn't really an exchange. But the whole thing fascinates me as a as a case study in psychology, but. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see obviously the, the, the Binance, which is a Chinese owned um, crypto exchange and the resulting FTT, which was owned by a you know multi-billionaire, 16 billion. It just obviously went poof because um, the, the currency, the, the exchange uh, had too much leverage and basically um, the collateral was its own coins. Anyway, uh, lenders got taken out and uh, equity holders got taken out and it's a big drama for the crypto space, but the crypto space is only about one trillion, right? So it's not like it has a huge effect on the overall um, market uh, as far as the, the, the equity investors, the, the the lenders, all that. Yeah, they're private equity and they're hurt, Sequoia and the rest, but they are massively diversified, right? So the point is, it's mostly um, contagion for other crypto uh, currencies and Bitcoin as a relate as a result is falling and Nvidia is in the space. But here I just wanted to show you this Nvidia charts. We talked about this yesterday. It popped above this wedge and I said, but it needs to get back inside 144 to be a solid short, right? In other words, a low risk entry short. Granted, it has earnings until the 16th, but you got a week. So below 144, then 140.75, and then we're going to come right back down. I think. So this got a little big for its bridges and it's hitting resistance and coming back in. All right. So NVIDIA basically 147.55 was the weekly resistance right here and got a little above. And then this morning it's come right back down. That's the nice short entry. Now it's below 144. Oops, sorry. And then we'll obviously have a little bit of time here before we get to the open. But I think this is going to come right back down to the end of this channel. So we'll call it like 138. Is that is that pivot? Hold on. Uh, yeah, 138. So it's got to break below 138. That's going to be the next level. So NVIDIA, 138 price target, but that's absolutely the level it really needs to get and stay below. NVIDIA came back down on the crypto drama. Uh, you can see Bitcoin is really falling over. And I had shown this. It was kind of interesting. Somebody asked me about this and uh, yesterday morning, right? So I brought up the charts. Check this out. This was uh, 10, 12 yesterday morning on the crypto crash. And sure enough, I'm like, look at this. It's rolling over. It looks very weak, like it's going to break 10, uh, 20,000. So you know how I feel about this. This is just languishing. Some call it consolidation. Uh, for a bullish move. And I say, I'm calling BS because this is the 200 day. And you know how I feel about anything that rallies into the 200 day, unless you have a massive event. Um, and I don't mean this liquidation event that's obviously underway, but I'm talking about a bullish trigger. It will take time for that 200 day to kind of, you know, stabilize and, and then move higher. So anyway, this has got no momentum. And it was gonna. It looked very much like it was gonna break twenty thousand, and that was before the whole afternoon with um, BZ and uh, FTT. Anyway, th the whole drama. Uh, they now, uh, Binance now has seventy percent of the market share. And again, reminder: it's Chinese owned. So, boom! This ended up doing. Hold on. I have it right next to each other. I'm like driving my crate. Hold on. Where the heck am? That's Ethereum. That's Ethereum. Why do I have two pictures of the same dang thing? Okay, that's Bitcoin right next to it. Okay, so it broke the 2000 and obviously it, it triggered um, the uh, 17.5 area, which is pretty much where we had a low in June. And this morning we're kind of hovering around there. So this is literally 17.618 uh, currently. So I took this last night. 
Okay, this is basically your, you can kind of see it right here. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that because it's so incredibly noisy. Let's just do that. All right, so the June low of 17.6, no joke, that's what we're printing this morning. Okay, the 17.6 area, the whole thing is obviously um, in distribution, very, very weak, et cetera. And Ethereum is 1,200. That's really taken it on the chops. So let's take a look at that Ethereum chart that literally had just shown. I'll find it. Okay, that was the Bitcoin. Boom. The Ethereum. Okay, so yesterday morning, someone asked me about it. And um, I said, it looks like it's aptly getting rejected the 200 day and it's forming a cradle formation to the downside. Needs to break 1,400. Obviously, that's really the trigger. Uh, for it to come right back down into these lower levels. And it's still working that out, but just kind of keep in mind lower levels of 883. All right. And then yesterday I took this picture and it had broken the trend line, gotten rejected, broken, blah, blah, blah. And so now this morning it is around that $1,200 area. So basically, it has taken out the low of um, last night, and it is now at 1,200, okay? So those are continued shorts as it relates to the crypto space. Um, let's see how that's doing. Yeah, that's going to be a really nice short. So yesterday, I kind of caught this early, and I just liked this uh, Beto, and then it rolled over in the afternoon, um, kind of stabilized around that 11. And it's pushing below 11 now. We talked about that yesterday, just to kind of finish up on the, the crypto side. So I uh, Tesla. But as far as um, trades, I do like this one a lot, right? So as long as it stays, look at that. Fake breakout came right back in. You can see also the low of this day, which happens to be 142. Really needs to, to keep going. I think NVIDIA is a good short. Okay, so NVIDIA looks like a great short um, for a chase below that 144. And semis, mwah, look at that gorgeous. Tags 200 comes back in, 199.96, same idea. But now it needs to break this low. Let's do this, let's do this. Very, 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 very important, 195.71. Yep. So we need 195.71 to break um, on SMH. And I hate the first 15 minute slog, but unless I have a thesis, right? So I know that coin is down another 8%. I mean, that is just, look at that, gorgeous. I don't know if Namita, you're still trading this, but it broke, right? So it's, it's, it's in trouble. Hood was down a lot yesterday and it's following through. Bito, Bito, whatever. Um, is a gorgeous. It had tons of um, puts coming in yesterday. And I said, as long as it can stay below this 1180, it's a great follow through. It's a great morning star reversal. And sure enough, then the afternoon hit with the news, right, of Binance and FTX, and it just crashed. So if you're into GBTC, you know, these candles can't always sustain themselves, right? But this might be a little bit different because there's not a lot of what you'd call um, support. Bitcoin doesn't have a circuit breaker. No, it does not. Bonds don't have circuit breakers. Equities do, but this is tied to the underlying and it's busted. All right. Well, we had a very, very large uh, protracted downtrend and then we had earnings and then we had the debacle yesterday with the FTX blowout. So, or FTT, whatever. Um, this is in trouble. <clears throat> People are leaving in waves and you can see it, but it has already been in trouble, right? I mean, we're talking 85 to 850. Wow. Still think Apple and Tesla are swing shorts. NVIDIA is a chase that's going to turn into more once it breaks down. I think they're gorgeous. Um, ARC hitting 33. Not a surprise. Yeah, Bitcoin's not very supportive. And Binance is strongly leaning towards scraping the FTX rescue takeover after first glance at books. Coindesk citing source. All I know is NVIDIA is a great looking break here if it can come right through that channel. 
And Bitcoin is absolutely in drama mode since I just wrote, read off that announcement, which is not a surprise. No way Binance is going to save them. For what assets? Nothing. There's nothing of value in there. They're going to scrap the whole thing. There's no value in there. All those customers are going to go to Binance just by default. It's just a waste of lip service. They did not play that game in any way, shape, or form because they saw anything of value. The value is owning that market share. Coin and all of the rest are in sell-off mode. Bitcoin and the rest below 17,000, right? So we, we definitely have weakness. Look at Ethereum come full back. Oh, another one. Very good point. Yeah, SI. Forgot completely about it. So they're the bank that processes a lot of the... Um, Conversion transactions, I forgot about this. Oh, that's that's heading back to 10 as well. So that's going to get cut in half. 15. I can't even find it. It's so low. All right. So that would normally be support. Maybe it bounces. Maybe it gets a relief bounce. Can't imagine why it would. But let's just say it does. That's uh, ugly, ugly, ugly chart. That's weekly. It clearly broke down. Tag, tag, oop, close below, roll over. This is a trend line. It's not as significant, and that's support, 15. Yeah, hood isn't basically, I would call it free fall, but I don't have a level because it's just incredibly broken. All right, so the only thing I can, I just did the coin and hood, and the rest are um, very, very, very weak. And then, of course, the cues aren't reacting. Oh, that's a gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Didn't even see that. Yeah. 441 for Riot. All right. So MSTR is going to be also a look at $186. <laughs> okay. Well, let me put it this way. If it does not get defended here, Right, you can kind of see this. We've been we've we've done this before with lots and lots of protracted downtrends. So if it does not get defended here, and that's a gorgeous morning star reversal, right? Busted next price target. Then where is the it's rolling over? This is the low from September 183.49. What is today? Broke below it. So it needs to stay below this uh channel. Now I'll bring it back up to a weekly. Can you see how it is just bouncing here? Because it's a standard deviation move of size. So we've got to get a smaller time frame for you. All right. So on a daily, we broke below 220. That's your area of bounce. On a daily, this is your monthly. You can see where we're just bouncing at 183 and a half but it's really busted. So when you have these huge uh, expansive red bars, that means more is going more to come. Doesn't mean you can't have a bounce of size, right? And then we had this big rally. Don't know why, but it got rejected at 30 and came right back down. All right, so that's MSTR. So what has not gone down the most? Semis. I'm still impressed. No, that that's... A lot of congestion here, um, no question, but the fact that it got back inside this wedge means the higher probability is that it's going to come back down and test the bottom side of this wedge. That's just the intraday channel. So let me just clarify this. This is intraday channel, hourly, right? Choppy, choppy, choppy mess. Oh my gosh, so choppy. Breakout and then failure. So I have it right here, which is about 138. That's what I said as far as price target, it's 138. Once 138 breaks, and by the way, we have a, a, a you know time into earnings. This is the level on a daily. We got back inside. Yes, this is support, no question. I wish I could put a dotted line here because it's really the this is really this is a lot of support right here. 138. Literally, 138 is a lot of support. But that breaks, we head down to 133.88. And then we come right back down to this kind of 125 area. Let's do this. Yeah, I think it's going to be lower. I think it's going to wiggle down, but we'll put that. So here, here are your levels, but it has to break. That has to break. And then this would be more likely. So this kind of like 128. 
That just looks like it's very weak. But as far as um, trades, I do like this one a lot. Okay, so NVIDIA looks like a great short. NVIDIA is a chase that's going to turn into more once it breaks down. I think they're gorgeous. Um, ARC hitting 33. Not a surprise. 